possible in Flash to make this thing called a mask, which is basically a layer um, that sort of provides like a keyhole through which the user can look at something else. So to show you the very basics of how to do this, I'm going to import an image that I saved um, from online to the library, and it is just the skyline of Seattle. My computer will catch up to me. And it's a very nice, uh, complicated image. Um, I'm going to bring it over to the stage here. I'm actually going to just have my canvas fit it, so I don't have to worry about moving it around resizing it. So now my canvas is the same size as this picture. I'm going to name my layer over here Skyline, so I remember which layer that's on. I'm going to lock it. Um, now what I want to do is I want to make something that I can see this through um, on another layer, and I want to make that a mask. So I'm going to add a layer here, call this my mask. And um, anything I draw, basically a shape, um, I can use text, I can turn it into a mask. So let me show you a couple examples. Say I want to have a, uh, a star that shows through my picture of Seattle. So I draw this thing. I definitely want to get the tower. Uh, that's a little bit too big. Let me get rid of my outline because that doesn't matter. Scale this guy down. Leftovers, get rid of those guys. Okay, so I've got this star. It's going to sit on top of my picture. And what I want it to do is I want only this part of the screen to show through the skyline of Seattle. And what I can do to make that happen is turn this layer into a mask layer. So I find the layer down here onto which I've put this solid shape. And I'm just going to right click and say mask. And now that is um, the only part of the canvas that shows through. And you can change your canvas color. Um, Stuff that looks like it has a lot of lights and it probably looks good on black, for example. Um, so I can have a mask that looks like that. Um, I can also sort of change my mind. Maybe I don't want a shape. Maybe I want some text. So let's grab some text here. And I'm still in the mask layer and I'm going to write Seattle. Okay, and that's not really big enough. So let me scale this guy up. I'm going to make it as big as possible to fill the screen, even though it's going to stretch the letters, but that's all right. And depending on what font you use, um, it'll look clearer as to what the picture is or not. So let's just try that. And so if I lock this back up, that's my mask layer. Now I've got some text, um, and I can see a theme through it. So that is the basics of making a mask.